Hello, I'm the Ultimate Movie Geek, and I'm joined by Mrs. Movie Geek, and we are doing the second year of our Halloween countdown. 31 films in 31 days, and tonight, on the first day, we start with Tales from the Crypt, Demon Knight. We just <laughs> we literally just finished watching it, um, and it, it's one that I, I remember from being younger, and I really, really enjoyed it. And it was, it's one of those where I was probably a little bit too young to watch it, especially the amount of boobs that are in it. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I remember like watching it on BBC One on my really small TV in my bedroom and thinking, oh, this is awesome. And then looking back at it, you know what? I thought I'd be, uh, I thought I'd come back to it and it'd be like, oh yeah, it's not as good as I thought it would be. But you know what? It is. It's really good. And being a fan of like Supernatural and stuff like that, it's proper in my wheelhouse. This <laughs> is what I really enjoy. What do you think? Um, yeah, it's similar <laughs> to you. I don't think I really enjoyed it. Um, it was one I watched when I was a kid as well. Yeah. Like Tales from the Crypt. Did Tales from the Crypt do something with Elvira? Do you remember Elvira and Mistress of the Night? Yeah, I don't know. I can't remember this class. Uh, there was a TV show, um, wasn't there? Um, uh -huh. Um, I'm digressing, it's just because it made me think of that. It's that kind of genre, isn't it? It's very yeah. tongue in cheek. Well, it's, it's comic, but it's very comic, comic. Yeah, it's comic. It? Well, it's comedy, isn't it? It's yeah. comedy horror. There was a bit of a story to that. It was watchable. I didn't hate it, that's for sure. No, I, I really it was, enjoyed it. There's quite a lot of stars in it as well, yeah. like Billy Zane Billy and Zane. Jada Pinkett Smith, as she is now, and Louis the guy who's in it. Yeah, and then the guy who's in everything, Uncle Billy. Oh, yes. He's literally <laughs> in every film you've probably. Ever what? seen really? He props up in almost every film. Yeah, what was he in? He's a minor character. Yeah, he is. He's always he's been like, like he's a bin man in the Burbs. That's I know, yeah, he is, yeah. But he's in those like <laughs> horror films. I think he's in another one. Oh, he's in he's, Gremlins as well. Yeah, he's in yeah, Gremlins. He's, yeah, yeah, he's the one who yeah. gets harassed and yeah. But yeah, it was quite funny and it's just easy watching. It, it's it? proper nineties it though as well, where yeah. where it goes into like like I don't know, like little bits of like music and stuff and. Billy Zane's character's like a proper cheese, cheesy yeah. demon guy who's it's trying to. Enough. It does, yeah. Billy Zane is very. I think he's a bit underrated because he's not. I think he absolutely hams it up, doesn't yeah. he? He proper hams it up and he well, really is good in that that film because yeah. it, it suits the character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's, it's, it is. It's proper. Like, it comes up the. the, the I, we talked about the story. <laughs> Should we talk about the story? Do we need to? Do we need to? I don't know. I don't know how to do these things. We, for, for the for the podcast that we do, we usually like talk story and then go into stuff. But um, yeah, it comes up uh, that a woman's lost her arm. I know I'm doing that. He comes up the loft. She's got an arm off. He's got an arm off, and uh, he, he, the arm is on like a platter, <laughs> and he's like. So, ah, I watch it, it's funny. <laughs> yeah, it's that sort of funny. stuff. But there's a, what, what background do you want to give? It's a, it's a Tales from a Crypt. It's Tales from a Crypt, uh, Demon Knight. It's about a guy who's being chased by uh, Billy Zane. You don't know he's a demon until later on. You, they just both look like a couple of people. people on, yeah, yeah, just like chasing each other. And it's like um, in a hotel in the middle of nowhere yeah, where he yeah. finds him. Um, bit like you said, bit dust till dawn. Yeah, it, it's that and it's it's funny because it's a year before from dust till dawn came out, mm. and I just thought with all the, the the prosthetics and and all the makeup, it's very it's a similar sort of film. Mm. And <laughs> it's different for Tales from the Crypt because you usually get like three tales, don't yeah, you? Yeah, something like in a film. I think I'm sure. You know. Yeah, in the, I'm not too sure. You know, I can't I really remember. Because I'm because I was thinking of Creep Show as well. Do you know, oh, yeah. like, they had, uh, there was a Leslie Nielsen film, like, it yeah, wasn't a film. Ted Danson. Ted Danson yeah. as well, yeah. 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 <laughs> Nielsen is, like, really <laughs> evil in it. Yeah. Um, but that that was three. I, I, I might be wrong. I haven't yeah. seen the show. I thought, I, I thought there were three, but I might, so I might be wrong, because they're all that same yeah, thing, aren't they? Yeah, sort of like It's the, like a long film, basically, yeah. about a bad and good and evil yeah. and heaven and... Yeah, he yeah, heaven and hell and all yeah. that sort of stuff, and... And the like price and stuff. It's just watch it. We won't explain it. It's a very basic story. <laughs> yeah. Very easy it's similar, watching. It's, it's supernatural, isn't it, really? Yeah. Yeah. But I I'm, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was uh, a good a good film. And I'm happy that I enjoyed it again. 
Yeah, it was all right. Older. I don't say I really enjoyed it, but I didn't hit didn't no. hate it. Um, <laughs> it's just easy watching it. So, yeah. so we've seen worse. Have we? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we've got a a list of films that we're going to go through uh, over the next thirty one days. Uh, that's one down. Thirty to go. What we're doing tomorrow? I can't remember off the top of my head. It's on the uh, the website, the uh, World Geekly News website. Um, there's there's a list being published, okay. which I sent through. I forgot to check it, so it's just in the audience. <laughs> it's just in the order that I wrote it down. So we're gonna have to follow that. What we're doing today? Are we giving marks out of ten? Oh, I don't or? know. Um, should, should... This isn't in our order, like order of preference. It's no, just a it's just chosen what, film. Yeah. It's just what's on, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Or what we can get on the DVD player. <laughs> um, should we get like pumpkins out of five? Pumpkins, because it's Halloween. Pumpkins out of five, right. Uh, I'd give that a three. Three? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to give it a four. Yeah. Just because I'm just happy with it. Yeah. The fact that... It's proper cheese. You it's know proper what? remind you of being a teenager. The film itself is, is, is enjoyable. And you know what I cringe more? It's, it's the open and close with... Uh, the Crypt Keeper. It's like, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah. But the, the little nods to him throughout the film as well, where like uh, there's a guy at the end who's whistling the theme tune. Yeah, and the kid who's reading the comics. And the kid who's the reading comics. the comics in the, in the loft. Yeah. They're, they're good. But, um, yeah, it's all right. Yeah, it's, it was a, I thought she wouldn't like it. No, it's all but right. But I put it on the list anyway, so she's all right. <laughs> all right, so we'll be back tomorrow with another one. I think it's... Friday the 13th, part two, because last year we did it all. We did all the first films like Friday the 13th, Halloween, all that sort of stuff. This year, it's the sequel. So there we go. All right? Mm -hmm. Shall we call it? Yeah. yeah? All right. Uh, I'm the other movie geek. <laughs> You're Mrs. Movie Geek. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, WordPress, and the theworldgeeklynews.com, uh, and on YouTube, where you can subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.